All right. Hey, so Francesca, thanks for having us on. Um, appreciate the introduction. I'm excited to be here. And just like everyone else, under different circumstances, it would be amazing. But I feel like this stop and this pause that we've all had to take has allowed us all to kind of step back and take a look at what we're doing. Um, I was able to, I've been fortunate to see all four webinars that you guys have put on, learned a lot of great things, heard things from some really high level coaches who coach at a high level. And as I'm sitting there watching this, um, I'm thinking about, okay, I get that. Like, I understand what they're talking about there because we have over 150 sensors in our program right now. And we're just coming off of a full year of utilizing it. So I have a pretty good familiarity, but I'm, I'm thinking to myself, what about that family or what about that coach that's thinking about implementing BLAST um, into their team or their program? Like, what do I wish I knew then what I actually know now? And to me, that's been, you know, that's that's what I'm going to talk about here. So if you want to go, go ahead and go to, uh, we'll skip slide two if you want, go to slide three. Um, you know, why did we choose blast motion? Uh, the the, uh, the data piece I think is is obviously, you know, it's obvious, right? You know, you're allowed to, or you're able to uh, get, get numbers and get metrics on players' strengths and weaknesses. And you can, you can focus in on, you know, working on their weaknesses, weaknesses, or you can, you know, try to, try to enhance those strengths and, and play to those. So that was one piece. Um, uh, players and coaches will have a better understanding. And I think, um, you know, I think Christy had just said that, uh, you know, they learn, they learn more about their swing. They learn more about the principles of what it takes to actually leverage a bat into, into a, a position to make contact. And then it just allows them to better communicate with their athletes. So that to me is huge. The accountability piece, you know, being able to see, look and see, like you said, I love the way you said that. If you're not going to swing, we're watching you. If you're not working, we're watching you. So um, the accountability piece to be able to have, again, players take ownership of their swing. And it really teaches them to hone in and practice with a purpose. So that was another piece for us that, that, I, that I thought was big. And then the recruiting aspect. So I'll step back a little bit. We actually have these, these sensors on 10U all the way up to 18U. And, you know, the 10U players um, may not be in that recruitable age, but the way I see it right now is, is you know, from my experience, the older kids that, that have jumped into this, that have already, let's say they've been recruited or, you know, they're a high level athlete being followed by schools, you know, they, they tend to think that they're already, you know, they're already at an, at an uh, they've already arrived and that they're already at a place where they're good and they're recruited. Well, to, the, to me, they start to see that, you know, that the, uh, that the sensor's telling them that they're a bad player. So, you know, the recruiting piece for me is um, making sure that these younger kids are able to, to grow with it and get better and, and move forward. So let's go to slide number four, please. All right, so set the expectation for me. You got to lay that plan out with your coaches. You have to um, educate your coaches. You have to determine how you're going to utilize BLAST. You have to uh, meet and be able to work through um, situations that your team's going to encounter with BLAST. So being able to educate your coaches and working with them, to me, is a huge piece. And I wish we would have done that a little bit more up front. And that's something that I've, that I've learned that's uh, super important. Uh, and as you educate those coaches, they are able to, you know, communicate that to their to their players and their parents. And and that's a key piece because, you know, you've always got that other player, that parent, like I said, that you know, they're they're they may not get a piece of it or they may think otherwise. But if everybody's on the same page, then that message is going to be uniform. Um, and then you got to communicate with your athletes directly as a coach. You know, that one on one or that group session. Um, girls want to know the why. They want to know why are we doing this. They want to know um, what are we working on, what are we looking at. And I think if you do that and you allow that open communication for them um, to be able to ask questions and understand, I think it just creates more buy-in. So to me, that's a big piece. Um, going back and looking at this, I think 
you got to understand the coach's portal. You know, if you go out there and you just buy a bunch of sensors and you send it out and you start collecting data, I think, you know, it was said earlier, that's it's just overwhelming. There's a lot of numbers. There's a lot of different colors. And I heard, um, I heard Marty Tyson say it a, a few weeks back, you know, that, that red causes stress. And so um, for us, I just think that if you can settle things in and understand the uh, coaches portal, just a little bit better, I think it's it makes things much easier. Sorry, I'm losing. I'm losing. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And then the analysis piece. Um, the analysis piece is, you know, where you can get, you know, some insights and see outside video. I think you need to learn that piece as well. Training. Um, you just want to become more familiar with the training center and be able to find metrics learn the drills and make sure you communicate that to your players. Um, so my takeaway from this, just from the organizational view is to, um, you've got to set that expectation. You've got to become familiar. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I skipped ahead. We're gonna go ahead and move to uh, slide number six, I'm sorry. So slide number six is you have to learn the, uh, you have to learn the app. Go ahead and move to that next slide, please. Understand the uh, the players app. You know, we're coaches and we're looking at it from the coaches portal and we're looking at things and we don't necessarily understand how the players are seeing it. So just make sure that you as a, as a coach, try to learn that portal and try to make sure that, or try to learn the app and make sure that you understand how it works. And one of the best ways that I've had time to do that now is I actually put a sensor on, my, on a bat and I started doing the drills and I started um, just navigating through, uh, but you got to learn how you know that how the hamburger menu works, how to move in between sensors, um, general practice, how to define the different types of work you're doing. Um, you have to know how to upload and record a video. All of those things are super important. Um, and 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 if you if you don't have an extra sensor, if you have a daughter, work with your daughter. If you have another player that you have a great relationship with, utilize that player, learn learn together. And then um, the, the final thing I would say is that, uh, you know, the help button is huge. They are, uh, they're very responsive. And so make sure you utilize that. So quick takeaway, slide number seven, is that, um, you know, just set the expectation, be intentional with your plan meet with your coaches regularly, and then just feel comfortable with both of the uh, coaches portal and the app. I think those are all huge. So that's all I got.